Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we're going to do a face with tones and shadows but seen from uh, a slightly upper angle and from the side. So if the face is here, let's say, let's actually do an X shape right there and the X shape could be flatter on this end to begin. So if you can just get something like that going, that would be helpful. So we're looking at it from slightly from from the upper angle there and from the side. So let's say that this is the side of the face and the nose, sorry, the eyes, nose, and mouth, they fall along, fall along there somewhere. And we will get started. So please use uh, light strokes throughout the exercise as we always encourage. It's uh, always helpful. So we're doing a generic face. Okay, so we're doing a generic face. And Just putting in some some features there. So eyes, brow, and we'll put in a nose. And we have to maintain the that angle like right through. So everything is like going like like that way and Run up the chin somewhere around there. Let the jaw flow back somewhere there. Put in an ear somewhere around here. Let's say that he, this guy has an, has a hairline, and show it like that so part of that column side column is showing here and we complete a generic head of hair right around there so uh, we're going to so it's just going to be tones from this point onward now the features of the face could be exactly like that or they do not have to be exactly like that so we are showing the, the, the magic is in showing the light from this angle and we're showing the tones more or less with a faint light source over here now we have done other videos in which we have done a faint light source and an intense source going side by side and they those videos can be looked into as well but uh, this is a different angle and it does have different uh, application and effect when it comes to the facial features being highlighted because the face again with the slightest tilt with the slightest uh, placement of features differently the light and the tones vary greatly so we're going to start some tones and we have to imagine that there are features that are like raised and others not as much. So we're just going and we'll be changing things along.
So what we have here is just some so light source coming in right from here and all the tone setting in. So we have, for instance, right around the bridge of the nose, a darker tone, more contrast and uh, key shadows falling in right here, going into the eye, into the, you know, the depth of the eye there. And then smoother uh, transitioning tones around the around the cheek then the cheekbones because they're the cheekbones on this particular uh, uh, person are not sharp at least I mean that's the way uh, we laid it out here and then of course we have softer tones as well along the curves for let's say that the chin is like it's, it's like it's like a mullet and a little more chiseled and we have features that are going between the chin and the underlip and casting shadows uh, in that way and right along the jawline the tone ends here and what we're, we're showing here is that there we can set in some tones and I'm personally just using a flat of the pencil here because the intense light source is there not here but there is as, as mentioned a light source here as well so it's not entirely like pitch black and as in our other videos uh, about the similar subject we're going to put in tones on this end as well but they will be not that much in contrast to the tones over here and then of course around the just under the face it all depends of uh, what kind of uh, anatomy uh, the person packs and if it's just a stock here neck I mean this is a fairly generic but this is also a fairly uh, what you call it's 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 an slightly more chiseled face more burly than it is uh, uh, streamlined or thin so let's say that the person has some bulk that uh, he's packing and then according to that we and what he's wearing of course we can tone we can use tones to highlight the areas right under his chin so we'll just put on some more tones and just put in some color into the hair to finish this off. So we're going to leave it at that and we got some basic tones going there so please do try it out it's a very useful technique in any kind of medium whether you're painting whether you're sketching whether you're doing color pencils uh, it helps to uh, uh, do the contrasting tones from different angles and this is one of them so thank you for watching please subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day